Genesis chapter 6, verse 4. This is a female African ape. And what you see next to the female ape is a falling angel, the missing link. This is an African ape, the true mother of Cro-Magnon people, and the first pregnancy from falling angels. Date, 6,000 years ago. An experiment from the falling angel and the female family ape of Africa. Cave people or Cro-Magnon humans. Fact, there is only one skin color, a brown pigment called melanin. Albinos have no melanin, so they have very white skin, almost pink because of the blood vessels that show through. If you have only a little melanin, you have white skin. If you have very black skin, it's because your skin makes a lot of melanin. If you are Chinese, your skin is slightly thicker, which gives your skin a yellowish shade. Celestial beings that landed on the earth like eagles merged their sperm with a female ape and produce the blacks, whites, albino, and Chinese race. It was in the time of Jared, Enoch's father. They were all corrupted from the natural order. Corrupted from the natural order? What does this mean? Except that animals and human beings were morphing into different species. Book of Jubilees and the Book of Enosh. First pregnancy by falling angels. The second pregnancy by falling angels, which is the time of Lucy. The third pregnancy by falling angels. Fourth pregnancy by falling angels until it evolved to modern man of Africa. This is the era 6,000 years ago the created white people evolved. There were the Caucasian man, albino, and Chinese race. Albino mutants are the ones who evolved from the black norm and the time of the Aryan falling angels. The last, the last tribes of angels that fell on the Caucasus mountain after the flood of Noah. This is a picture of a black man turning white. And it was a biblical leprosy that we believe with the white people evolved. All the white people on the earth evolved from the black norm in Africa. The Caucasus mountain of Russia where albinos, Chinese, and white people evolved from the blacks 6,000 years ago, and also at the time of Jared, Enoch's father. The Zionist Illuminati, Jews and Greeks are albinos, mutants, from the bloodlines of the third race of falling angels, the Aryans. The Zionist Jews stole all the Bible story from the ancient Sumerian clay tablets and added their version of the Bible 2,000 years ago for world domination and mixed up historical facts from fiction, myths, and legends to cover up the true writers of the Holy Bible. The first race of angels that fell from heaven to another dimension was Azurah, the wife of Yahweh, and one third of her children. The second race of angels that fell from heaven to earth was Azazel's family, about 3,600 years before Christ. The third race of angels that fell from heaven to earth after the flood of Noah landed in the Caucasus mountain about 3,200 years before Christ were the race of the Aryan falling angels, which were the blue eyes and blonde hair angels that were the last angels that finished producing the white race that evolved from the blacks in that region of the world. That was the time when they came and stumped on everybody in that region of the world, which is in Africa and India. 
And this is how they became powerful. And it was the supreme racist ever since. The book of Enos contains a rather disturbing passage that suggests a paranormal or supernatural element is involved with the process of evolution. 222 falling angels invaded planet Earth in the time of Jared, Enos' father. The 222 falling angels had sex with a female ape in the time of Jared and gave birth to cold magnet on humans. They were the blacks, whites, albinos, and Chinese race. They all had sex with animals and humans in Africa, and they were all corrupted from the natural order. Corrupted from the natural order? What does this mean? And said that animals and human beings were morphing into different species. It was in that era of Jared, Enoch's father, before the Egyptian pyramids of Egypt was ever built, that falling angels impregnated Iraqi women in sovereign Iraq and gave birth to giant human beings to fill the earth. They were called the Nephilim giants. And they are the true builders of the pyramids of Egypt and all the colossal buildings in Jordan and around the world. Thank you.